So I've cut some slats out of a scrap piece of pine. And they are about one and a half inches by three sixteenths. And you can use wood about this size, three sixteenths to a quarter inch thick, to make the entire toy. There's also an alternate method where you can use a piece of solid wood. And I'll be showing you both methods in this video. I'll also be using a template that I drew up that you can use to help you make this toy. And you can get that template by downloading it from my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash rickmayot. I'll leave a link below. So let's cut some of these to size and we'll get started. So these are the pieces I cut. The long ones are about five inches long and the short ones are about three inches long. And the figures that I'm going to cut out of these are only four and a half inches, but I wanted to give myself a little leeway. But the important thing is that when I laminate these together, that there's a two inch gap in between. So the next step will be to laminate these together. Let's get that done. While those pieces are drying, we can move on to something else. This is a template that you can download from my Patreon page. And there are a lot of ways that you could use to transfer these men, these figures, to the wood. But what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut them out and glue them to a piece of poster board. That way, and then cut them out from the poster board, and that way, if I want to make 10 of them or 100 of them or use it for the future, I will only have to do this step once and be done with it. So that's what I'm going to do here. that our wood has dried, we can go ahead and trace out our figures. For the second method of doing this, I'll use a solid block of wood. So this is the solid piece, and I'll cut this out and we'll get this finished and move on with the rest of the project. Here's 
solid one we just cut out and here is the one that already had the slot in it so other than this one being a little thicker they're exactly the same except for the slot so in this method what we have to do now is I'll measure up two inches I'll mark where I want the slot to be and I'll take it over to the bandsaw and cut the slot or you could mount it in a vise and do it by hand so let's get that done So here it is with the slot cut in. And that's how you can do that using a solid piece of wood. Now we'll move on with the project. So before we move on to the drilling, we need to glue these little handles onto the saw piece. And of course what they are are spaces to keep the saw from flopping around when the toy is being used. So let's get those glued on and then we can set them aside and move on to the drilling. So we'll set that aside to dry, and then we can go do the drilling. A quick word about drilling here. I will be using a 3 16 dowel to hold the arms in place and to hold the pieces onto the levers that operate the toy. So all of my smaller holes, the holes that I want to hold tightly, will be drilled 3 16 And the larger holes that I want the dowel to be able to move in freely will be 7 30 seconds. Now if you look on the plan, that you've downloaded, you'll notice that I do not have these measurements on there. What I have are S for small and L for large. And that's because you may be using a different size dowel, or you may be someone who is watching from a country that uses the metric system. So this way you will just know that S is small, that will be the same size as your dowel, and L, the large one, will be one or two sizes larger than that, so that the dowel will move in there freely and that the joints won't seize up. So let's get them drilled. So here are all the pieces. The next thing that I'm going to do is dry fit this together. And I have marked the leverage sticks with a T and a B for top and bottom because if you look at the plan there is a slight difference in the distance between the holes. So this is the top one and this is the important one right now because I'm dry fitting it together because I want to figure out about the middle distance between the two figures. I'm going to mark that out right there and then I can take some glue and glue these pieces on. Th these are going to be the logs that these men are sawing. And I'll set that aside to dry. While that's drying, I believe that I will paint these figures. It's not absolutely necessary. You can leave them plain wood and they look just fine. But I have the time, so why not? And I'll add the final details with a fine tip felt pen.
So here's the finished toy. There are several of these toys that get their action from pulling levers back and forth, and I'll revisit this concept in a future video. If you like my videos, then please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.